Welcome to Dan Teaches Crypto, where we break down cryptocurrency and digital assets into bite-sized pieces. Today, I want to share with you a real quick trick about how I keep everything organized as far as portfolios and how I can see profits and losses. And uh, you can do any, this any way you want to. Uh, when I got into it, I used to just use a spreadsheet. Very easy. Just put it in there, put it, stuck a little formula in, and it could tell me the profits and losses. The problem was, was that when I wanted to update everything, uh, I had to update everything as far as like the prices and whatnot because I couldn't pull the data in. So I didn't really like that too much. So I decided to look for something that I could just really quickly look at and see, am I down, am I up, and how much is the absolute value? So I think this might help you a little bit. So first of all, if you have an Android phone or an Apple, uh, you know, just you either go to the Google Play Store or the, or the uh, Apple App Store and just type in coin stats and i will leave a link in the description so you don't get, you get the right one you don't get scammed and uh, usually that's not an issue for apple uh, but uh over on google play it's like nothing but scam stuff anyhow i don't know what to tell you so on this one coin steps uh crypto for me i already have it so it's going to click on update but for you you would just download it and once you download it you are going to see a little item like this, which is always nice to look at. And you can you can do this on Blockfolio or whatever else that you have. I just personally like this one. It doesn't cost me anything. It's free. And uh, I'm just going to show you how to use this one that I personally use. And that's just how it works. So with, uh, I mean, here we have all the different stats, Bitcoin, Ethereum. You can see uh, today is the 25th of May, 2021. So if you're watching this in the future, you're like, wow, look at that. Bitcoin is 37,000. What a steal. Hopefully. <laughs> that's what everybody says. We just had a huge drop. Of 50 percent just a couple of days ago so yeah, it is what it is anyhow but uh, you can go through this and see all the different uh, crypto that you want to uh, find as far as like you know what what they are and what i like about this one too real quick is when you click on let's say a bitcoin and you click on markets right down here under by coin info it's and then you can see all the different trading pairs so if you're ever looking for like a coin where you're like where do i get this well they're all right there I could buy Bitcoin and pretty much this is kind of a bad example. Let's take a look at uh, Silo. That's a good one. Silo is one of my one of my top sleepers. It's ranked 776. It's like a super app. It's like it's like WhatsApp but for the blockchain. And you can also use things like uh, you can transfer cryptocurrency on just like a Venmo or a Line or something like that. So I like this one. Anyhow, Silo, where the heck do I get that? You go here. Look on markets and like, oh, there it is. I can find on KuCoin, I can find on gate.io or Uniswap, eh, eh, so on and so forth. And uh, that's how I find everything. So anyhow, that's not the point of this one. The point really was to track all your different holdings. So on the bottom corner here, the bottom left, you'll see main, portfolio, alerts, news, you want to read that stuff. And then there's some stuff for more over here where you can sign up for some free primo stuff, which I never do because I don't like it. So for portfolio, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the, it says add the first one now. And right here, you can search through everything. And just real quick, if you pull down, you can search for it. Because I don't want to search through 700 different things to find silo, right? It would suck. So I just click on, like on this one, we'll make it very simple. I'm going to say Bitcoin. <laughs> so total Bitcoin. So how much do I have? One. Let's say I have one. Right. And then for here, the date and time, it's not a big deal to when you put it in. But if you if if you put it in for today, it'll be today's prices. But let's just say that for some miracle, I went all the way back to October 12th. Right. Whenever whatever that was at eight, eight o'clock a.m. And you can put this in for however you want to. The only thing this is good for is you can actually track the percentages lost and gains. I don't really care so much about that. I just want to see the total every day to see what am I up? How much is my portfolio worth? Is it worth uh, $2 or is it worth $20 million? That's what I really care about. So you can do that if you want to, not a big deal. You can put notes in here, you know, bought this. And I, I would recommend this, bought this on Gemini and Voyager and whatever, 8IO. I think it's important to put the notes in here somewhere so you will know exactly where all these cryptos are. Because if you're like me, I got a lot of cryptos and they're all over the place. So it's important for you to be able to track that just to know like where the heck did I put these things? Because at some point you might want to, uh, you know, uh, cash out. So we'll do this and that's pretty much it. And you bought it, add. And there we go. So now let's say for instance, oh, I'm down 73 bucks. 
Let's say, for instance, I want to change that. So I'm going to click on Bitcoin at some point. And let's see here. The holdings. The price. So right here where it says total worth, I can click on edit. And then right here it's going to say total Bitcoin. So we still have one, right? But um, you can click on sell or transfer or whatever else you want to do. And you can put it, you can log it all there. I just don't, I really don't do that. I just care about, again, how much do I actually have? So for total Bitcoin, let's just say that for some reason I sold it or whatever. And I want to say it is, now I have half a Bitcoin. So I'm going to update that. Come back here and look at that. I now only have 18,593. And that is my entire portfolio uh, right there. So now 18,000. You can add, you can subtract, whatever you want to do. And then it'll just give you like, right? Let's just add some another one. So let's just say, ah, polka dot. Okay. So how many dots do I have? Let's say I have 100 polka dots, right? Date and time. Something like that. Done. Select the portfolio, notes, and then I bought this on whatever. Gemini. Yeah, I don't even know if it's there. Add. And now I have 20,000. So every time you look in this, it'll just tell you, like, are you up or down? And it'll give you a total amount. It'll pull the data in from different exchanges to get you, you know, pretty much what it is. Different exchanges are going to give you uh, different amounts. Sometimes Bitcoin is 37,000 on one exchange. Other time it's, you know, 36,994 on another one. So it's pretty close. And that's what I do. And then also, uh, lastly, in the upper right-hand corner there, the three dots, you can click on that. You can do a little, nice little pie chart. Analytics are for free, forget that. Pie chart, and then it gives you like a nice little thing like that. You can uh, take a screenshot, snap it, tell all your friends, hey, I'm uh, down massively, <laughs> or up massively, or whatever else. And then you can do percent holdings right here. And of course, it'll tell you, you got 90% or 9% dot, and that's pretty much what I use when I'm doing my uh, um, price prediction videos. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. And again, you can add whatever you want to. Super simple. And that is it. So let me know what you in the comment section. And that is all for today. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, consider subscribing. We usually do new stuff, but sometimes we do things like that for uh, over there at uh, the free website, danteachescrypto.com. Come on over there. A lot of great information, 100% free. And that's it. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. See you on the next one.